Hey guys, and welcome back to another Benji Place video. Wow, I have not used that intro in so very long. But, as you may, or some of you may or may have known, E3 was last night, the PlayStation E3. Uh, is where they release new games, well, they unveil new games, new demos, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and I have here the Overkill's The Walking Dead uh, gameplay trailer, which looks amazing. I saw it, I watched the showcase last night, and oh my god, I think my heart just broke into a million, million pieces, but I'm going to look at it again for you guys, because why not? Um, <laughs> I, I didn't catch everything in the trailer, but I'm going to try and catch it again for you guys, and just so some of you guys can see what it was, if you hadn't watched E3 or watch the live stream, whatever. But yeah, reacting reaction of three, two, one, go. Scan round. Oh, five or four games. Are those the guys that did Halo? Are those the guys that did Halo, right? We were so many things: husbands and wives, doctors, and teachers. Writers and architects. Yeah, we've got a but when the world ended, Aiden, all Heather, that ended too. Ron and Maya, I think. Every day we fight for more than survival. We fight to build a new life. Fight. Together, we might stand a chance. Yeah, boy. Okay, so it comes out on November 8th for me. Wow. Okay then. Uh that's that's the trailer there's not much but what from what i could gather yes it's going to be a first person shooter um there's going to be like you obviously you got i think you pick between your four main characters which again is aiden maya grant and heather uh, i'm guessing this is going to be more of a multi well i mean you could probably do single player with this game but then you could also do multiplayer i think that's what they're trying to come across here so like yes be more multiplayer based like uh state of decay 2 which i do actually own i have actually played this game on my own i haven't played it with other people because i do not have xbox live because i am poor as hell <laughs> i'm joking i'm not poor i'm just i just don't i just don't buy well i mean i would buy it but i just don't have i need a job basically um but yeah i mean this looks promising this really does look promising um, the, the, just the graphics on here look so realistic and showing how gaming has come since the 90s from like Crash Bandicoot 3 or the original Crash Bandicoot games compared to now and then you see it with the transition like I'm using Crash Bandicoot as an example like the original trilogy that was released in the mid to late 90s compared 20 years down the line with when they released the Insane trilogy which was like a oh, complete remastered it looks like you can see the definite transitions between then and now and you can tell that technology has like vastly increased since then and it's completely amazing and I cannot wait to actually play this game for you guys. It's out in November, I think. Yeah, November 8th for Europe and the rest of the world, but the North and South Americans get it two days earlier than we do. I ain't gonna complain as long as I get to play the game. I do not care. <laughs> uh, you can pre-order it now, but... I'm probably going to pre-order after I've done this video, so yeah, sick. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the game, there's not really much I have to say about this, but uh, yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, if you did, please, please leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. I'm going to be reacting to more E3 kind of stuff, which you'll expect to see after this video goes out, but yeah, guys, I'll see you soon.